a book review on the Twisted series by Anna Whiteman. So it's been a while since all of the books have been out and I've finally gotten the chance to finish all of them including the first two King of Scenes series by the same author. So here are my thoughts on the Twisted series. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the first book of the Twisted series, which is Twisted Love. And I'm going to give you guys a brief summary of what it is about, what I like and dislike about it, and also the rating that I'm giving this one. A little caveat for you guys, there's going to be a bit of spoiler involved in this video, so if you guys are not up with that, you can always skip the video based on the list that I have in the description box down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more book reviews for the Twisted series and also other books of your recommendation and follow me on Instagram which is also in the description box below. So go hit that button. So just to clarify, the books are actually standalone series following four best friends which are Ava, Bridget, Jules and also Stella and all the events occur in the same Twisted universe. So they can be read as standalones, it's fine for you to read them one by one but it'd be really great for you to read all of them because of some common factors that bind these books together which you will understand by the end of book 4. So for Twisted Love, it follows the story of an Asian girl named Eva Chan and also Alex Volkov, which is the model of the book cover. And it has a grumpy ex sunshine slash brother's best friend trope. So Eva's brother, which is Josh Chen, is a medical student and he had to be away for a couple of months. And because of that, he needed someone to look after his sister while he's away because of a particular traumatic event that occurred in both Eva and Josh's past that has led her to be under his constant scrutiny. So since Josh is a bit of a fuckboy, it's pretty understandable that his line of defense would be fuckboys as well. So instead of calling his other friends, he called for his best friend, which is Alex Volkov. The next best thing, of course. This man right here is a man of many talents. He is a billionaire with an IQ of 160, has a photographic memory, and is also the COO of a real estate development company called The Archers Group for this universe. So since this book has a grumpy ex sunshine trope, the juxtaposition between the two demeanors of these two characters are very dissimilar. Alex is your morally grey hero, whilst Eva is all sunshine and unicorn girl whose glasses are very rose colored to the point where it almost turns red. And I suppose that that's her favorite color right now because she's Chinese. I'm not sure I'm being racist, but that's the logic that I could pick up from it. <laughs> so let's talk about what I like about it. Anna Huang really does have a knack of making your eyes balls just from her plot twists. She really is a master of plot twists, considering that the title is also called Twisted, so it's very twisted -y. The plot twists that she had for this book had already been mentioned in the first few chapters of the book, which is great. It's just that as I progressed through it, I didn't think that it was going to be that dark for Twisted Love. Surprisingly, it was. It is a refreshing sight to see because for all of the books that I've read previously before this one, um, most of them didn't really have like a concrete and solid reason as to why they need to break up or hate each other in the first place. But Anna Huang portrayed it impeccably and the way she did it was just chef's kiss. For all the books that I've read so far, all of the male characters were a little bit shitty. The things that they did were always the ones that you could always forgive at some point. But for this dude in particular, he really did not deserve that speck of forgiveness from Eva until he started to grovel, thank god. It was pretty dark too, surprisingly, for a chick lit romance book because from the way it was written, I really thought that it was going to be a full-blown vanilla-ish book. It's nowhere near dark romance, of course. It's nowhere near Hunting Adeline or Haunting Adeline, all those dark romance books. But it does have some gory details and sensitive topics involved. Which brings me to my next reason why I love it so much is because it tackles multiple dark issues. Oh, you thought Twisted Love is gonna be your typical grumpy ex-sunshine book. No. Considering that the both of them are adults, Alex is already working and Eva is doing her internship, the both of them had to encounter a lot of adult-related problems that are commonly faced by our generation but haven't been properly addressed yet. Um, this includes filial problems, suicide, trauma, murder. Given the language and the way that the book was written, it was so light to the point where I didn't expect it to have dark elements in it, so when I encountered it, it did take me by surprise. It's safe to say that it's not one of those typical bad boy neighbor who has a shitty attitude because his parents got divorced. This guy had legit reasons for being morally grey. 
and this is why this book is a breaker of common themes. The reason why I said that this book is a breaker of common themes is because Anna Huang took elements of what you would normally put in a typical high school romance book into an adult setting which gives you a more of a fresh or breath air perspective without making the characters look like they're teenagers. They're both working, they have adult problems, Alex is a man, Eva also has dreams instead of focusing on chasing that particular boy and I love that Anna Huang also loves to diversify her characters' background and races which is what I love and what enticed me to read this book in the first place. Now let's talk about what I don't like about the book. This baby is 344 pages short. What is it that you didn't get to say that is this little? See the difference between the first and the fourth book? This is Twisted Lies by the way, the fourth book of the Twisted series. See the difference? When you write a book this short, it often misses major events and descriptions and points that are worth mentioning, which I admit is pretty frustrating. The pace ended up being hastened, we went from I hate you to I love you in less than 150 pages and the sex scenes were also limited because of that. I mean look at this, it's, it's how many sex scenes do you think they have? It's less than 10, it's less than 5 I think. And while I applaud for the intensity and creativity of the sex scenes, the deeds ended before I managed to get high from their nightly throes of passion. So it's like you're almost reaching the peak and all of a sudden like, oh, I'm done. Is it good? That quick? <laughs> this goes for the groveling scenes as well. When I was reading it, I was expecting more detailed groveling scenes considering that it is the main highlight of what the book is about whenever it's being promoted. At some point, the groveling only occurred in one short paragraph and then the rest of it were just flashes of how the groveling went without us having to experience it with the characters. I'd like to see how she slowly warms back up to him after the betrayal. I'd like to know the conversation that she had with him where she invited him to her house in London for the first time to help her out. How they stayed loyal to each other whilst being very available and capable of dating other people at the time. Like I like to see all of those scenes. I don't I don't want flashes or just like short inventions. I wanted to experience it with the characters and I didn't get that with this one, which is kind of a bummer. Also, I feel like I need to mention this, spoiler alert, at some point the only way Alex won Ava back was by singing and if I have to be honest when you see a man albeit him having a wonderful voice singing in front of a crowd in an event that was not dedicated for him you're just like get the, get the fuck down no for all the things that he did to Ava he won her back by singing Oh, Alex. <laughs> I mean, I understand it's really hard for Alex to show his emotions and apparently singing is the best way for you to convey it properly and Ava might took it that way. But in real life, in my common sense, it's like, oh, you fucked up and then you sang. <laughs> That's nice. So yeah, the groveling took about a year before Ava finally gave in, but the description of the whole year was mashed into one whole paragraph. It wasn't even a whole page, it was just like a small little paragraph that's like, he announced that he was gonna grovel to her for as long as it takes and then like, oh, one year later. So that was the part where I got slightly pissed off. I want to see those things happening, I want to see the process and the progress of him winning her back and the extra miles that he's willing to go rather than just like keep on spending his money on her and buy her gifts. I would like to see more, something a bit of an emotion involved apart from the singing. The singing part traumatized a lot of people. But I would like to see something more profound than him being him. Another reason why I don't really like this book is because it uses simple language and I definitely recommend it to you readers um, whenever you read this kind of books. It's not ABC simple but it's so light and brief to the point where it's not going to cut your attention span short. It's just that because of that, it kind of bore me. It's not really much of a challenge when reading it, every line is basically a description of what's happening next instead of stretching out the whole scene with beautiful words and intricate language. I could only select a few memorable quotes from this book. It's so simple to the point where I feel like anyone could come up with it, but as new books arrive, I noticed that Anna's writing style has also evolved, which is good because by the end of the fourth book, she officially became my favorite author. I also have it signed by her.
She got me so engrossed in the fourth book because it was just so well written to the point where it took me almost three months to forget about Christian Harper. And that is because I read Hunting Edge Line by H.D. Carlton and I found a man named Zayn Meadows. Oops. <laughs> The last reason why I don't really like it that much is because I feel like the plot is a little too safe for my preference. Um, which is something that I noticed for all of her four books is that the plot tends to be very safe rather than dairy and explorative and a little bit dark, you know, like it didn't it didn't really make me feel things. I was just reading it and it's just like, okay, now we're done. It didn't really touch my heart that much. That's all I can say. We get a man and a woman with polar opposite sides, they fall in love, they broke up because of a little bit of an argument and they go back together after a one page groveling and then that's it. So we ended really quickly, especially since it's this thin. It wasn't that much of a roller coaster ride, but I still love it nonetheless. Um, the characters are great. I really love the idea of Alex's character and also Ava's and I really love the concept of the book. It's just that I feel like for this one, the plot is just a little bit too safe. and. It really is a good book if you're starting to read something. So for Twisted Love, I'm giving it a 3.5 over 5 rating. I don't hate it um, because I admit Alex and Eva, they have a special place in my heart. They're one of my favorite couples to this day and their love story is pretty addicting. I love the trope, I love the storyline, I love the characters. It was just decently done and I understand that because I think this is one of Anna Huang's first book with this particular theme so she was still exploring as to how to write a morally great character but by the end of the fourth book she did stupendously well so it's good despite my review for Twisted Love I implore you guys to try out all of her other books which I will review in the next videos at some point her books do get progressively better and just because I gave a poor rating for this one it doesn't mean that she's a bad writer in general or um that all of her other books are not worth reading. They're actually really, really good. There's a reason why she became one of my favorite authors after the fourth book finished. Right now, she's also starting a King of Scenes series, which is a seven book series revolving around the seven deadly sins, which are King of Wrath, King of Pride, King of Greed, King of Lust, and all those other you know seven deadly sins. So you guys should definitely check them out. But I also have three other books of hers to review so um, click that subscribe button down below to check out all of my other reviews of the books and also other books of your recommendation just comment them down below and I will do a review of them very very soon fortunately if you're not satiated with Alex and Ava's story you will get a glimpse of them in all of her other books including in the King series so it's not the end of it it's not the end of Alex and Ava in this one I would say Twisted Love is a really good book for new readers, but if you've read something worse like me, then you're probably unfazed by it. But it's a really good book to start with. Definitely recommend for new readers. And if not, then you'll just enjoy it for the sake of reading all her other books. So that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below on what you like and don't like about the Twisted Love book. Um, I'd really love to hear your thoughts about it and stay tuned for more reviews on this Twisted series and also all my other book reviews in my next videos. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!